just insane. We're supposed to be able to regulate poverty in Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua. We send the money, it doesn't do any good. I fund a charity called the Haitian Health Foundation. It is run by Americans and they rebuild the mouths of children in Haiti. Is the teeth fall out from malnutrition and everything else? Okay, over the years I've given a lot of money. I've gone to the clinic. It is a beautiful charity. I wanted to go um, around Christmas time. Can't. You know why I can't? Because when you land at Port-au-Prince and you get in an automobile and you go to the clinic, which is about 15 miles outside of the capital, armed men will stop your vehicle and take all your stuff and maybe hurt you. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been donated by Americans to Haiti, a very small country. The poverty there now is worse than it's ever been. There's no law enforcement. There's no one in charge. It is a collapsing country. We've donated hundreds of millions of dollars. Bill Clinton, Sean Penn, George Clooney, you name it. Done nothing. Nothing. You cannot regulate behavior in foreign countries. And when you hear that on the news program, oh, we have to do Honduras. It is a pipe dream. That's a cliche that comes from people smoking opium in a pipe. That is BS. It's garbage. The truth is there's only one solution to the migrant caravan. What the United States is doing right now. They can't come in. Because our system is overloaded now. The Associated Press reporting between three and four years to get an asylum case ruled upon. In the meantime, we're going to let tens of thousands of people in there, because if you let the 7,000 down in there now, you don't think there's going to be 70,000 on their heels? There will be.